we have a way to use the water again in the future so to be able to use that information again in future we need to make sure that we have enough notes on us hello everyone prado here and yesterday i tweeted out saying converting my physical notes and book notes into digital ones and got a lot of dms asking how do i do it and what's the process so in this video i'm going to share what my process is and how i get it done let's go before i tell you how i do it let's talk about why why is it important to take physical notes as less digital notes what's the point of reading a book if you are unable to retain the very interesting information from the book itself let me give you an example real quick let's take there's a there's a box right this is this, this is like a bottle bottle of water right so there is there is water inside this and right so this is this is what we are consuming so these are the books we consume on a regular basis right so these are the, this is the content we consume we regularly consume but the point is when we consume information we need to make sure that we are using it again in future or in some ways in future right so to be to be able to do that you need to make sure that there is a way first to consume that information for example if if we are consuming information and we are taking notes at the same time the notes going to come out in this way this is this is this is a future let me write it down this is a future future uses and we can use it in any other way we want notes yeah but and this is again the books we consume but this time the difference is that we have a way to use the water again in the future so to be able to use that information again in future we need to make sure that we have enough notes on us reason number 2 is travel we cannot possibly take all these books with us it doesn't matter even if it's a physical note or it's a physical book for example i have these many this the ones right here the ones down there let me let me see if i can, I can put that up the ones down there are the physical notes i've taken all these years and i cannot possibly take them with me anywhere i go so that's one of the reasons why i take digital notes reason number 3 never lose your notes again i have so many notes and books that i have lost during the transition between me shifting to one place to another so never lose your notes again and that's why i love digital notes reason number 4 it's extremely easy to search your digital notes than your physical notes let's talk about how to convert physical notes into digital notes one of the worst ways to do is is to literally just type it down and i hate typing because it's just too many of them i just i just have i just have too many highlights and too many content written on them so it's just too much to type it down all right way number 2 is converting your pictures into text there's a software called online ocr or just type it down picture to text softwares and it'll pop up there it is online ocr.net uh you can literally just take pictures of whatever notes you have and then put it uh, and say this let me let me see if i can do this there it is okay that's it uh once it's completed you can just click on convert and there you go convert and entire content is going to be compressed into text and here it is uh but again just want to quickly share this with you uh online ocr or any of the picture to text content is not 100% right uh, 100% accurate also if you want to do it on phone you can also use google lens uh, it also has one of the features where you can convert your text Uh, you can convert your picture into text and it's not 100% accurate because some of us are doctors and way number 3 is literally just copy pasting from ebooks and pdfs of the book but before i share how i do it i want to make sure that this is not exactly legal and this is like the torrenting but for books and please make sure that you are deleting the content after you use it uh, as it's only for educational purposes When I was young, I used to do this, but after becoming a creator, I realized the amount of work that an author puts in to make to to write a single book. Before I download any of the any of the books, I make sure that I buy one of them, a physical book, highlight them out, and just for the note taking purposes, I download the book and then delete it. All right, let's get into it. I get my books from this website called z/lib.org. Oh damn. There it is. Right. and you can just go to the book section and you can download the book you want uh, for example let's say psychology of money 
but please make sure you delete it after you use i just want to share this again with you guys that please 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 make sure you delete it let's let's just let's just take what i've read right now so for example or one of the things which i do is i i make sure that i click a picture of this page and i click a picture of complete of, of completely this page and i post it in my room research or whatever note taking app i'm using uh, this is my why of why i'm reading this book i've green highlighted this and i've used uh, some pens as well so these are the two things i use number one is a green highlighter um, i have lots of highlighters i have lots of highlighters and number two i use is a pen number two i use is a pen uh, the reason why is one for pen is to make sure that i come back and read that again and to highlighter is it's very important for me to read that again that's about it it's very simple so what i do is i just take two things off from the book let's say page number 2 uh, he talks about ronald ronald james reed here it is so what i do is my favorite so i just copy paste this i just go to to my room research i already have a page for psychology of money go there i just type it down or what i also do is so for example i have if 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 you go my previous works uh, all this I've already done before for the book, and these are the things I've already done for the book. I probably, if you want, if you're starting up, what you can do is you can start with the book name, book notes, uh, book notes, uh, psychology of money. That is introduction. In introduction, I found this, so we're just gonna copy paste it. Sometimes what I do is I make sure that when I copy paste any of this, for example, there are some some context that you need to take off. So if there is something really good, you can use a uh, highlighter. For example, this guy was an American philanthropist, investor. So you can do whatever you want. You can you can highlight, you can bold, etc. etc. You can it's it's very easy. What you can also do is sometimes you gotta take the entire context to make sure what you highlighted to be added in the, in the in the book so sometimes i just literally just copy paste just entire thing uh to make sure that i give context and i able to understand what i'm reading right now so uh just copy paste it same goes to the notion uh once book notes and psychology let's become a page now you can start adding your chapters your introduction any other any way you want so you have an introduction and turn that into a page that's it that's literally it you can just start copy pasting stuff and you can go back and read them again and make sure that you you are having a physical substitute of the physical notes right and i love digital notes and that's one of the ways i do it all right guys this is it this is literally how i convert my physical notes and the content I've taken from the book into a digital note. Uh, let me give you a quick example of this book called The History of Lessons. The, sorry, The Lessons of History. Uh, lessons of History, the amount of notes I've taken for this one single book. One single book, all right? These are the chapters I've taken from the book. And you can literally just see this preface, uh, hesitations, okay. Right, now now it's gonna get crazy. Uh, these, these are the amounts of notes I've taken. I think one of the biggest was religion and history. Uh, but yeah, it's just it's just crazy amount of notes I've taken from this single book. It's just 100 pages and but yeah, it's 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 fun. It's fun. And whenever I whenever I want to read something new or just want to take back or look back into the book, I just go open the notes and read them out. So yeah, guys, this is it. This is how I do it. And please 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 make sure you buy the book before you download any kind of books on the internet make sure you have digital notes and if you have any more suggestions you can put it down the in the box below or you can just dm me on twitter uh, i'm pretty active on twitter uh, anyway if you learn something new please go support local bookstores and authors you know and thank you so much for watching this video i'll catch you guys in the next one